Hello, in this video we want to introduce how to create a QR code reader. Okay, and the QR code reader get the content. The text will go back to your Google Sheet. How to do how to do that? First, uh, you need to create a folder. The folder name you can change. Uh, if you don't like this one, you can change whatever you like and create Google Sheet. Google Sheet name. Give whatever you like. And here you can see extension. If you didn't see extension, uh, you need come to here. Uh, maybe you need come to here to find Google App Script. Click one. And later you will see extension app script so we need to put the code here but the first one is we need to give the name to our project uh, the project QR code you can change if you don't like this name you can change now wait for a second to let it be in safe. Uh, okay, here is a code. Don't worry, I will provide the code under the video. Paste. Okay, don't forget to save. Here we request the HTML service and we create a HTML file name index. So now we need the HTML index the file name must be the same index okay and you can change here if you change here the name you need change as well okay here this is a code copy just overwrite overwrite totally this is a CDN QR code read CDN provided by a genius. You can go to his GitHub uh, to view the original file. It's very genius and very generous. Uh, majorly, the main function is here. Okay. QR code scanner get the result and send to on scan success. Here is a 500 means half second. You can change to 1000. It's one second means you give a little time. Uh, allow the machine to process the data. If you set too low, maybe there will be a problem. Okay, so uh, I suggest you set one, one second, uh, one thousand means one second, or five hundred. Okay, and you can try and error. Okay. So where is the on scan success? Okay, it's here. On scan success, get the text, and we send the text back to Google Sheet by using this API. You can change this one, but you cannot change Google, you cannot change script, you cannot change run, but you can change send back if you don't like this is a customized function. And send back is here. Send back here. We get the data. This is a parameter and put in Google Sheet. Uh, the first column, uh, one means first column. Then after we store the data into the Google Sheet, we come back and wait me means uh, we give uh, one second to let machine process. Okay, and you can change the 1000 to five, maybe 500, it's okay. And QR reader result is the element from here. To use uh, 
to use this function we need to import jQuery CDN so this is why we have this here now you understand we create a paragraph here uh, prepend is a method so now we can uh, test this web app uh, please use new deployment and select the type web app and if you want everyone use your app you can choose anyone and deploy e. Okay. Test. First time we click here. So we get results. This is create here. Prepend. So when you see this message means uh, the data already go back to Google Sheets. So now you can change, you can check our Google Sheets. Okay, here. So the data already go back to your Google Sheets. So this A APP is successful. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much.